Hey guys, um, yesterday I got a pet hamster. I called her Malinka, which means raspberry in Polish, but I wouldn't call her raspberry as a nickname, I would just call her Malinka. Um, I just want to start the video by telling you that I'm recording from webcam because I'm not really sure where my camera is, so sorry if the quality is really bad and it's hard for you to see anything. Um, so like I said, I got her yesterday around the afternoon, and I got her a Habitrail Ovo Loft, I think that's what it is. Um, it was the biggest cage in the pet store, and since she's a teddy bear hamster, I believe I, they're a type of Syrian hamster, only with fluffier fur, so I know that they get a lot bigger. Um, so I just wanted her to have as much space as possible to run around and just stretch. Um, right now she's behind the wheel. There's this little... I don't know if I can show you. Sorry. There's this little hole and she's sleeping in there. She's sleeping in there. Sorry, I think I didn't even show that to you guys. <laughs> Um, I'm pretty sure anybody that has a habit trail knows what I'm talking about. Um, so, I have the top off right now because it is, it has a lot of glare on it and you wouldn't be able to see what I was trying to point out. So here's the top. It goes on like this. It has four of these circles that grab onto these cut out semicircles. And you lock the cage with these sides, and you click. When you hear a click, then they're locked. Just put the uh, circle here. Um, and you can see there's a piece missing. On top of there is, I believe this is a stainless steel piece. Um, it goes on top, and it locks like this. And it has, obviously, air holes for your hamster to breathe. One thing that I really don't like is the wheel. Um, right now it doesn't really sound too loud, but my hamster is really enjoying her time spinning, running around in the wheel, then it gets really loud and it's really wobbly. Well, like, not in the sense that it will fall off, but it just makes a lot of noise and it squeaks too. So I'll probably get a silent spinner just because of that. Um, I also have some, I think they're called fiddlesticks in here. They're just kind of bendy log thing. They're just a bunch of sticks with um, bendy metal through them, two of them. Just put some tissue in there so she can rip it up and make some bedding. Just a little roll of cardboard for her to chew on. Um, Right here is the water bottle, but I'm not even really sure if she's drinking from it because she just goes into the tube, turns around, and comes back out. But I saw her go in, and since it drips, yes, this water bottle drips, it doesn't have a ball, it has a little hole, but after you put it in and wait a couple of seconds, it drops maybe like four little drops, and it stops, but she licks off the tube here when it drips. Um, um, the bedding that I used was Living World Aspen Shaving. So it said it's super absorbent bedding. Ideal nesting material for small animals. It's hypoallergenic, scent and dust free, and it contains no aromatic oils. And it's for small animals. This is a smaller packet because I might switch it out to maybe some care fresh bedding. I don't know. Um, but it's just some wood shavings. Looks like that. Um, it 
does actually have a scent to it. It smells like like wood. I don't know how to describe it. If you've ever cut wood before or have a fireplace, it kind of smells like that. Um, near her nesting area right there, I don't know if you can see my hand, but I put more shavings in there because she actually likes to put it in there. And <clears throat> I'm not going to take the top off, but right here is a built-in fruit dish. Um, and you could take this off and you could see her in there, but I don't really want to bother her because she just went to sleep after a very intense night of running around in her meal. The fee that I have are these pellets. It's called Living World Extrusion. Premium tasting and nutritious ingredients extruded into one pellet. Um, so, why are the ingredients in French? It's for hamsters only, obviously. Um, basically, this is a good feed because if you give them the seed mix, then they pick out whatever they like and they don't eat everything. But in this, she doesn't really have a choice. She just eats the whole thing, and it's also really, really hard. I don't know if you can hear. So it gnaws down her teeth, and the lady at the pet store told me to feed about four each day. So this is kind of gonna last me a while. The packaging is good. It's um, Ziploc-based packaging. Oh, she's moving around. Hi, Erika. Hi. Oh. Um, the white thing that I put in there is some tissue paper. She just drags it in there and she just makes a soft bed. She likes to rip it up too. Um, so, this is what I have for her right now. I'm going back into the pet, to the pet store in pretty sure on f Saturday, Friday-ish. I'm gonna buy her some more toys and maybe I want to, since I'm switching the wheel, I'll buy her another Heidi hut and some ceramic bowls for her. Oh look! Sorry. I don't have a short attention span. She's just out right now. Hi Marika! Um, she's still really shy at the moment. I don't really want to scare her. What's this, Marika? What is that? Oh, you're on camera. Whoa. You're on camera. Of course, I'm going to eat some food. She probably heard me grinding up her food when I was showing you how hard it was, and she's like, oh, I'm gonna go eat some food now. So, okay, that's going to be the end of my video. So, I'm really sorry if you couldn't see some parts, because I'm actually trying to record with a webcam, and I'm not, it kind of moves strangely, like the opposite direction that I want it to move in. So that's why it's kind of some parts that I was trying to show you that you have not seen at all. So I'm sorry. I'll try and find my camera so I can make a better video for you guys. So say bye, Marinka. Bye, YouTube. Okay, bye, guys.